Yeah, welcome to the NEAS Conference 2020 um, from my home office here this time, which is really an awkward situation for me. So bear with me if this sounds and looks like a bit um, awkward or artificial. It is for me. It's so unusual for me to, to be here alone in my office and talking uh, to my iPhone. <laughs> so, but nevertheless, I wanted to give you a little intro to this all, to the talks and um, keep you uh, a bit updated on what has happened in the NEOS community, how we are doing and what we are planning to do next, so like usual. I mean, we have to start with the topic of uh, the different crises we have at the moment, we face at the moment. And uh, of course, the biggest one um, with the biggest impact is the corona crisis. So I really, yeah, wonder what um, impact that had on you. I, I talked with uh, lots of people, of course. There are so different impacts on, on people and on jobs and on agencies. So there are a few, for example, a few agencies who say, we have lots of jobs to do because everyone seems to wake up and, and think like, oh, uh, we need to do this digital transformation thing. And so there's a lot of um, jobs coming in in e-commerce, for example. But on the other hand, there are just big branches uh, which stopped working on their online projects because they, they actually had to let go lots of people and um, then the marketing side was not so important anymore. So a lot of people actually um, start enjoying nature now like uh, lots of people uh, bought bicycles here in Germany and and started uh, walking in the forest and when you go to the forest here there are always people yeah so maybe that's a good side of it but uh, for NEOS what does it mean for NEOS of course uh, for lots of people the focus uh, shifted also the spring so um, I mean if you can't really even work then uh, you would not probably contribute to the open source project but nevertheless things are still going we had releases um, we had a release recently and people are contributing mostly those people who don't have kids but in general, um, the development continued and there's still, I mean, last year I talked about climate change, um, climate crisis. I mean, that topic is not so en vogue at the moment. I mean, just right now there's the Black Lives Matter um, thing going on. I mentioned that because that always has been an important topic for NEOS as well, for the NEOS community, because not, not because it's a trend, but because it just makes sense. We just consider that being normal, that you uh, think about diversity and gender equality. Even if you look at us and think like, wow, that's uh, mostly white men and uh, only few women. That's already uh, a drawer you put us in. I mean, who says that being a man or a woman uh, tells something about that person? There's also a blog post by Lisa about being a woman in the NEOS team, uh, which I can really recommend um, to read. So, and recently, just as an example, not because it was a big deal, but just an example, um, we had a discussion and a pull request uh, about replacing whitelist and blacklist by proper uh, wording in NEOS. You might think, okay, that's a no-brainer, but on the other hand, there's a backwards compatibility you need to take care of and, and so on. So there's a discussion around it and, and you need to find a way to do that properly. Um, but that's how NEOS also works. We, we have that these discussions and find a solution for it and we care about these topics. Said that NEOS is not a company and that, that is beneficial for us. Uh, we, we are not delivering a product, as you know, we are a community of people um, creating something and trying to create a software and um, the whole surrounding which improves people's lives. For me, it's, it's a bit like a friendship, right? 
So it's, it's a fun relationship and with take and give and not everything is hunky-dory. Nails might have a ha bad hair day too. Um, and there might be team members leaving and coming back and new ones join. So there's always movement in there. It's not all polished and, and planned to the end. It's, it's really a friendship because you, you know that there's something um, you can rely on and you can trust. So even when there's a time that, that you don't hear about Neos, uh, when you hear from Neos again, uh, it's all familiar and you know, it's like almost no time has passed, right? In that regard, even though this situation here, for example, is quite artificial, we try to be authentic. Uh, we, we don't hide things, we don't uh, exaggerate or... So, um, but we, we do many positive things which we can celebrate and, and that's also something we do with the NEOS conference, of course. So, in the end, what, what makes us tick, what's, what drives us really is not the commercial success in the first place, but rather creating uh, solutions for real world problems and, and all the challenges involved. I think that pushes us. Now, when I look back at um, the past year, what I see is that NEOS is still growing, right? I mean, we can count installation numbers and so on. That's pretty cool. It's getting more. <laughs> it's got, not getting less. Um, but what, what I can really see is uh, from projects I'm involved that there are bigger companies asking for NEOS, trying to find an agency and so on. Um, and also in the development community, I see that we now have a certain standing, right? We are respected for for the code quality, for the solutions we create, but especially also for the values and, and the friendliness. This is not just, I'm, I mean, guessing. Uh, we, we know that firsthand because there are people uh, in the NEOS team, for example, who join other conferences. Sebastian went to Plone Conference and David uh, went to DrupalCon. So we know um, their, their feedback. We, we hear about them, what they think about us and, and so on. So that is, that is very positive. And what we are uh, still doing and, and going to do is sharing our solutions and we're working hard to, to make that more accessible to other communities as well, just on a technical level. At the same time, we also try to incorporate other people's solution from, from the community and try to contribute back. So this is how we just want to join the community as a whole and be a good citizen there. Yeah, so market share is rising, market recognition. I, actually, I really like market, market uh, recognition because it means not like we change something fundamentally, but rather uh, the market recognizes what we are doing. And, and most times it's a positive thing, right? At the same time, market recognition is the biggest complaint people might have when they are looking at NEOS. They say like, yeah, that's a really nice solution you have there. Um, but how do I get some, do I get developers for that and, and so on? So fortunately, I mean, the concepts are so similar to other PHP frameworks, for example, and so on. So it's, it's not so important that you 100% know everything about NEOS, especially when you work on the backend side. The marketing team recently did a great job in improving our website. They are meeting frequently. So um, it's also going into the right direction there. And I think NEOS is a really nice solution for the problems um, we have at the moment or people have at the moment with digital transformation, for example. So, I mean, having that mix of a content management system and application framework, having something which is really cloud ready, which has a modern architecture, which also doesn't stop at a certain level, but we continuously improve and modernize even what we have there. It's all the event-based uh, programming with the event source content repository and the API focus that really will help using NEOS and Flow in uh, challenging projects. So in that regard, don't, don't wait for permission to spread the word, right? Uh, go to some, some conference or some meetup or tell other companies and colleagues what you think about NEOS. Um, that really helps.
So I'd like to talk a bit about flow as well because flow is sometimes neglected. I mean the biggest place where you can see that it's neglected is that try to find the flow documentation from the NEAS website. But that's something we, we have to improve to, to make, uh, make it visible and, and, and explain that these two really belong together, that, that this is a whole package we provide. So is, is flow still relevant and why do we have our own framework still? Does it still make sense? I mean, at some parts we are looking at replacing components, for example, by other components from the community simply because uh, they do mostly the same and we don't have to maintain it and so on. There are even parts where we could get new features uh, which we don't already have. And there are other parts which we shouldn't touch, um, which are superior in flow and, and uh, we probably uh, will always keep maintaining that. In general, the goal is of course to, to have less work um, and providing more features, but also keeping the promise of what flow really stands for. So we need to keep control on what's important for us and we don't, uh, we, we don't and we shouldn't take um, backwards compatibility breaks lightly. So we really have to find a good way to always provide a good migration path, right? The promise, um, what is the flow promise really? The flow promise is to provide a whole solution, something well thought out, which doesn't leave you alone with lots of choices, but um, has something prepackaged for you and with a good and great concept. So for example, take the resource management, right? So um, there are all kinds of libraries you can use for dealing with files, uploading them to cloud storages, publishing them and so on. It's, it's really a lot of work to combine all them and to find a proper configuration and and then also making choices. Flow provides all that. So you can just create a Flow application and know that it can deal with files and you use the same API and files can reside in, in cloud storages or local file systems. They play well with NEOS, the media management, and you can use all the features, for example, the media, media management provides. And another example is uh, the unplanned extensibility. Flow really is good at letting you extend parts and also NEOS extend parts which we didn't really design to be extensible in the first place. But we have mechanisms to allow you to do that um, anyway without having to patch the core. And that's, that's something uh, you can only do with a really well thought out complete solution. And we also achieved a lot of um, progress in other parts, in NEOS for example. We had three big NEOS releases throughout the last year. Uh, 5.0, 5.1 and 5.2 completely removed the Ember code uh, to have the final switch to React in the user interface. We now have full PSR7 compatibility which was a major work. Um, we have Fusion available for Flow applications, not just NEOS, we have UI performance optimizations, Fusion forms and many more features and improvements um, which went into these releases. But it's not only the NEOS core where things are happening. Uh, what's especially worth mentioning is that uh, there are packages, not like lots of packages, um, being created, but also specific packages which are maintained really nicely with a high quality effort. For example, the, uh, the SEO package and very recently Elasticsearch, um, the whole suite of packages, um, including the content repository adapter and so on, ha have seen a major release by created by Daniel, who put a lot of work into it. And I mean, Elasticsearch has been installed more than 100,000 times. So um, there seems to be a demand for it. And Daniel just, you know, took the effort and modernized it. So it works with Elasticsearch 6 and 7, has a lower memory footprint for indexing and many more things. So why don't you say um, thanks, Daniel, for doing all that work? 
And there's also been progress for the event sourced content repository. I talked to Sebastian. I mean, he he had bigger plans for it uh, for end of last year, but still um, they made steady progress and they are ironing out uh, much smaller issues than a year ago. So this is going really into the right direction. And there are other tools um, and packages being used now which tell me, okay, NEOS is really used in, in big environments and bigger challenging projects, nice integrations. Uh, we have OpenID Connect, for example, uh, which means that you have a nice setup for microservices and um, secure single sign-on and, and things like that. We have packages for providing metrics and, and so on. So you see that NEOS is working nicely in the cloud, in Kubernetes. Uh, we have solutions like the two-stack publishing. I think this is going into the right direction. Uh, last year we met I think we only met one time after the NEOS conference with the NEOS team, and that was in Vienna, um, where we signed the founding papers for the NEOS Foundation EV, that is the German association. So as you know, there's this Brexit going on. I haven't heard something about it for quite some time now. We want to transfer the foundation to Germany and signed all the papers there. But then there was the idea, should we make a charity out of it? Mm, and did some research. And now, anyway, at the moment, there's a new paper circulating with uh, signatures. And we won't be a charity, but uh, the NEOS Foundation EV will happen soonish. So let's talk a bit about contributions. Um, because you see that um, the activity in Teams is going up and down and people have some time for NEOS and then again they don't have time. So what do we do with that? Um, first, first of all, I think uh, don't do things which stress you and find out what, what really pushes you. So for me personally, for example, it's when I don't have enough time to provide a good solution that stresses me. Or if I'm alone with a problem and don't know whom to ask. Um, or if I, I feel that pressure of I started it, so I really have to finish it alone because I promised it. On the other hand, there are a lot of things which push me, right? So all these discussions and rubber ducking and so on, mostly in, 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 in person or then uh, with a video chat, that really helps me because I, I get the feedback from people and I learn something new, which is the most important bit, probably finishing something and getting that really done, done. So including nice documentation, really having it well done. And sometimes the task is just too big. So a solution is uh, take smaller chunks. I won't say that elephant thing now, smaller chunks and then make sure that you get a nice solution for that, have a migration path, documentation, tests and everything. But when you do something, then don't forget the values NEOS and Flow stand for and where the general direction is going to. So if you're unsure about that, then just sit together virtually uh, with, with some people from the NEOS team and, and discuss these things. And probably if it's really important, then just don't put it in Slack but write it down in a longer text so everyone can comment on it in our forum. And if you're not yet contributing to NEOS, give yourself a start. Don't worry, we are friendly, you know, and, and it's a lot of fun. You don't need to know every, everything to, to start. Uh, just pick something you really uh, interested in or you ask what, what you actually could do and then you get your start. What's next? Uh, I'm always asked, of course, like as if I knew what's next for everything in EOS. Um, but what I can see is that, of course, the event source content repository is one of the major topics we have at the moment. Then there's the media management going on with a new user interface and um, GraphQL support and, and so on. Um, in general, I think it's going into the direction to provide more APIs, um, GraphQL again. And then I guess PHP 8 is a topic for us, not just to be compatible, but to take advantage of PHP 8. And then consolidating 
is always important. So collect all the things. Let's, let's look through the packages which exist for NEOS and see if they can be combined. So if you're a package author, for example, then and, and there are packages which do more or less the same like your package or have some overlapping, then get in touch with the other authors and see if you can do something together. That um, often makes a lot of sense and especially for the users makes things much more easy. So in general, um, if you contribute, don't put yourself under pressure, don't feel stressed um, because then um, at the, in the end you won't like NEOS at all. But on the other hand, if you contribute and don't doze off either. So there are always more important customer projects, of course. And, but if you only attend to customer projects, then NEOS won't grow, right? It won't progress. So find a good way in between and maybe others can help you to enable you doing something for NEOS. So that, that is what comes to my mind at the moment about NEOS and Flow. That's what I can tell you from my place here. And I'm really, really, really looking forward to, to meeting you folks again uh, in real life. I hope we find some opportunity soon. And for the time being, you can watch the other speakers during this conference who have some quite exciting details and bigger uh, things to tell. So enjoy the rest of the conference and hopefully see you soon. Take care.